Welcome to our lecture online. By now we should be able to look at a problem like this and solve it just like that. In this case, we're trying to solve for v. We take a look at this. We notice that everything is multiplied in the numerator. We have a v in the denominator. We should be able to move the v up here and the p down there. We should be able to see that. So let me work it out that way and then we'll show you why it is possible to do that. So moving the v up here, we have v is equal to 8.315 n times t. We don't really need those parentheses. And then we divide by the p that we brought down. Essentially, again, we're using the concept of a over b is equal to c over d, where the d can move up and the a can move down. And in that case, if we want to rewrite that problem, we can write it as p over 1 is equal to 8.3 1, 5, n times t all over v. And again, all we did was move the v up here and the p down there. And of course, we don't have to write v over 1. We can just get rid of the, the over 1. And so that simply becomes v is equal to 8.315 n times t all divided by p. And in addition to that, you might recognize this from the equation pv equals nRT, which is the ideal gas equation, where R is the gas constant, 8.315. Anyway, notice that once you begin to see that you can move things across the diagonal, you don't really have to put in this format. You can if, it need, if you need some help getting it done. But if you can just see it, you simply say, ah, all I need to do is bring the V there, the P down there, and I'm done. I've solved it for V, and that is how that's done.